It is 6.02 now on Daybreak, and it was a moment that the whole world was watching yesterday as the votes were counted and the Starbucks location on Elmwood Avenue right here in Buffalo voted to unionize. It's the first for the company across the country and across the world. Yeah, and there's still a lot of work to do before any of it becomes official. Daybreak's Heather Lee is live at the Starbucks on Elmwood Avenue with the latest and what's next. Good morning, Heather. Hi there, Pete and Melissa. Good morning. Yeah, history made here in Buffalo and what happened here in Western New York could potentially inspire other workers and other stores all across the country to possibly do the same. The National Labor Relations Board tallied the votes, but according to one UB professor, now is when the real work is going to begin because the other key to forming a union is, of course, agreeing on a contract. That process could take weeks, months, or even years. The Starbucks on Camp Road in Hamburg will not be forming a union, and another location on Genesee right near the Buffalo Niagara International Airport. They're still undecided. Workers there still need one of seven contested ballots to go in their favor. Union organizers have accused Starbucks of legal yet anti-union tactics. UB professor Aaron Hatton says many times union workplaces don't really remain union oftentimes because they don't ever make it to their first contract and there could be other obstacles in the way. The employer, in this case Starbucks, is not legally allowed to close the store to prevent the union from forming. Um, but there are many, many, many cases where this type of thing happens, where the company makes the case that, well, production wasn't very good, sales weren't very good, we are looking to shift our priorities elsewhere. And she says that the company would have to make that case convincingly. But if anything like that was to happen, union workers would have to appeal. Now, in a statement, Starbucks, a spokesperson, said, quote, we are grateful for each partner who exercised their right to vote. Independent of the outcome of these elections, we will respect the process. And they say that they will continue to stay true to their mission and values. Pete, Melissa, back inside to you. All right, Heather, thank you for that update this morning.